All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can suspend reality just long enough to cut the entire planet in half, allowing the people that are left alive to live on a true flat Earth. It's Solar Smash. Solar Smash is a game that we screwed around with, but I later found out that I did not play this game the right way, which is to say in a way that tortures people even worse than what I had previously anticipated being able to torture people. Apparently, if you use the slow motion, like a lot, it completely changes the ways that all the different planets react to all these different things. Let me show you exactly how stupid and ridiculous things get. I say stupid but it's actually amazing. Well, it's amazing if you're not one of the 7.7 .7 billion people that are getting tortured for my amusement. Okay, let's say you have your Galactic Destructor Penetrator 5000 beam over here and you say to yourself, man, there's one thing I would love to do, which is cut the entire planet in half. So, you know, you start blasting away and you figure, oh, maybe this will be the day when I get to cut the planet in half. You almost get done and what happens? Suddenly all 7.7 .7 billion people evaporate and you're left feeling completely unfulfilled because you weren't allowed to keep the planet alive long enough for everyone to see the horror of the Southern Hemisphere completely separate from the Northern Hemisphere. Look at this, it's so close, it's so far. Well, there's a way to get around this and it effectively allows you to do almost damn near anything to the planet without it turning into a flaming ball of wreckage and fire. So instead what you do is you turn on your super slow motion and with super slow motion on, you can pretty much do anything and the game forgets to kill everyone. Yes, I literally drew a smiley face on the earth from one side to the other. All it costed was 2.4 million people. They will be missed. I couldn't have done this without them. It leaves 5.3 million people to have to wonder who gets the negative property value of living within the smiley face of the planet. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. It, it shouldn't be a smiley face. There we go. I had to make the earth look like it was screaming. This leads me to a question of A, can I truly cut the earth completely in half and still have the people live? And two, can I make the earth flat? <laughs> as far as I can tell, there's nothing stopping me. Don't mind me, I'm just wiping that smile off of the earth's face. You know, with a rogue moon. It looks like the earth's about to eat a jawbreaker. Look, it's like, ah, sweet moon diabetes. I don't know how, but we didn't actually kill anyone. The one thing I did do is make the yelling face slightly better. Actually, you know what? Since we're since we're on this path, one of the regrets that I have about this game is that I didn't throw enough moons at the earth the first time. How many moons is enough? That many moons. I'm not gonna lie, this does look incredibly inappropriate. When the earth starts vomiting moons out the back of it, that's when you know it's enough moons. Oh, see, the earth regurgitated a bunch of moons. Perfect. This, this is actually kind of haunting. The fact that now we can do this much damage to the earth and allow people to live kind of makes me wonder if I can force the entire population to live on like one tiny little area. It also makes me realize that inside of this pocket, I can just open up like, you know, countless black holes. Hey, I made a jack-o'-lantern. Look, everyone. It's slowly glitching out the game in ways that probably shouldn't happen. All right, I think I, I think I may have gone slightly too far with the black holes. Okay, human torture test number one. Can we cut the earth completely in half? All right, slow motion on, and here we go. It's actually a lot like surgery. You have no idea. Actually, I guess it's more like LASIK. I can say to the earth, which one is clear? One or two, one or two, and the earth would be like, stop. Okay, one, maybe. Okay, we're at 1.3, 1.4, sorry, I lost another 100 million just there, million people dead, but I've just got this little bit of core left to destroy. Come on, earth, don't you screw with me. Yes, okay, the earth is completely cut in half and everyone is, well, you know, all the people that I didn't hit with the interplanetary beam are still alive. Okay, so now how wide 
Will this game allow me to make this cut? I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I think we might actually be able to make our flat earth Okay, so I went into full speed and it immediately broke the planet and everyone died So once you're in slow motion, it looks like you can't leave it all. It's okay earth. Listen I just I just want to take off the tips. Okay. No one lives up here anyway It's gonna be fine. Apparently 117 million people live up here in the poles. What's way up there? They're like Greenland Sorry, Greenland. Certain sacrifices have to be made for the flat earth, okay? Okay, now I'm actually kind of curious where more people live on like the North Pole kind of area or the South Pole kind of area. We got 300 million so far on the top. Let's see the bottom. I've nuked the entire South Pole and I think we lost 5 million people. Okay, I've done a pretty hardcore shaving job so far. Needless to say, there was a lot more people that lived up here than down here. Man, you torture the North side, everyone gets up in arms. You torture to the south side like no one even knows about it we lost like 10 million people i'm not gonna lie the earth is getting uh pretty flat hold on though we can definitely make it flatter jeez i barely pissed out fire at all and i lost another 150 million people on the north side everyone will move to south florida but no one wants to live at the south pole okay i have gotten rid of a stupid amount of the earth so far i like how so much of the earth is gone and there's still 7.2 billion people alive i mean we're, we've already boarded this train we might as well ride it all the way to the final destination. Great, I've turned the earth into a watery blue tic-tac. Also, if anyone ever tells you that flat earth doesn't exist, you can just point him to this video and mention that all it took was about uh, 0.88 billion people to make this, this a reality. Oh, we just lost a huge amount of people. I think at this point we're like down to Canada up there. I think once we hit Russia, it's gonna get pretty bad. Yeah, we're losing like 100 million people per blast now up there. That's fine, we'll just take a little off the bottom. I have now removed over half of the earth and this is what we have so far. I got all the way, hold on, I got all the way, damn it. I got all the way down to this before everyone finally died. Don't worry about this gigantic crater, that was a misclick. So you can clearly make like the flat earth. Now I have to see if I can remove only half of the earth to allow the one half to just chill out by itself. I gotta make sure that Florida stays alive. Where are you at? That's very unfortunate. South side of planet earth, you're going down. I learned something interesting. If I take both techniques and I mix them together, you can torture people even better. I have effectively blown up the world. So right now it has like the full world magma death thing going on. And yet somehow there's still almost 3 billion people. <laughs> If you do anything else though, it will piss the world off and immediately kill everyone. It's a very delicate process. What the hell? What the hell is, what is that? What is that bomb doing? It just keeps thrusting in and out of the earth. <laughs> Look at it go from one side to the other. Is it because there's a perfect hole inside? Hold on, I have to see something real quick. Oh, I've got a ball of the bombs just sitting inside of the perfect hole of the earth. They're right in the center. Please, whatever you do, don't crash the game. Ah. <laughs> oh God, no. Please game, I need this. Don't do it. I may have crashed the game, but on the plus side, I made another sun. There's something that I just realized, if I'm not able to do this, then all of my work is for nothing. I think the thing that blows my mind the most is how this game has effectively turned into destroying the world, into how many ridiculous things can I do to the planet and keep at least someone alive to have to deal with the aftermath. Just from this very shape, the people that know me probably understand exactly what's happening here. Damn it, even in slow motion, everyone died, but I'm not gonna let people's sacrifices be in vain. Hold on, I've gotta finish this. Damn it, I wanted to recreate something and all I recreated was 2020. Hold on here. I know it'll let this work. There we go. It's the bionic testicle that the Earth will eventually become. This place takes a lot more damage than the original Earth. This is what we as a species have created after like, you know, years and years of getting the crap kicked out of us. Okay, now I'm starting to realize something. I barely did any damage to this planet Bruh. and it just died. It knows what's happening. I'm just trying to draw friggin' yeet and 7.6 billion people are like, you know what? We're just better off dead. Look at this. This is barely anything. It's like stepping on a Lego and just dying of a heart attack. 
attack. Just to prove a point real quick, I just removed a third of this entire planet. But look, everyone's still alive. They're like, well, it's better than the yeet apocalypse. Screw you. Just a slight scratching of a Y and a yeet of yeet was worse than this. Now I need to know something. At this point, it's like planet surgery. Hold on. Planet surgery just broke the entire game. Okay, the damage I'm able to do to the earth now because of slow motion and still have most of the populace left alive is getting really stupid. I put a bunch of these things in the middle of the earth in a tiny little hole and then shot it in super slow motion. And I have now legitimately removed the entire core of the earth. And yet everyone is totally all right with this. Oddly, I think that this hole may very well be moon sized. Like a glove. Oh. I just let loose another gigantic explosion inside of Earth in slow motion, and there's still only 852 million people that are dead. I'm actually coring the middle of the Earth out and leaving just the shell for the people to live on. All right, get all those going. Shoot off one of the laser blasts to ignite all the different bombs. And there they go. Once again, no one got murdered from this. I'm just trying to uh, make sure that this hole is expanded equally here. I'm not actually sure what would happen to the earth if you completely remove the entirety of the core. I haven't just removed the core at this point. There's like a little bit of crust, but the rest of the guts are gone. I think it's because over time, I slowly start to erode the FPS by doing this and it doesn't understand to register all the deaths or something. Yeah, I can just unleash these bombs in the center of the earth removing more and more of it infinitely and not actually kill anyone else. I like how I've removed like 70% of the Earth's mass and the game is just like, ah, no one lived there anyway. Can you send like a an alien right down into the middle of the Earth? Yeah, you sure can. He's totally fine with it. What happened to the, what happened to the saucer? Did I kill the alien? It didn't shoot its beam. I did it. I figured out a way to defeat the aliens. You no, just have to send God, them right please, into the middle no. of the earth. They're like, oh, these coordinates are so strange. It's very hot. Welcome to Florida alien bits. I find it particularly interesting that I was able to release like a billion bombs and nothing happened, but I threw one meteorite, which didn't actually impact the earth. It was just in the middle of it at the time. And then everyone died. Working as intended. I wanted to see if you could legitimately cut the board sphere completely in half as well and you totally can this is what you get for screwing with earth the only thing you people have left is a depressed death star and even then you'll probably get copyright claimed for it by disney <laughs> there you go somehow the the planet still stands someone in this 2.3 billion people that are left is like the super entitled people so one of them's gonna claim one of these sad slivers of broken planet it's like a private island just finishing things up over here there you go now your freaking planet looks like a piece of chili lime calamari thanks for visiting earth i'm not gonna lie part of me has wondered just because right at about 20 of the bombs it destroys the entire game. How many black holes I could get before the game just decides to stop functioning. Doesn't really look like the earth so much anymore as it does look like a tumorous growth or maybe like a zygote or something. Oh my God. <laughs> They're all so hungry. They're like, oh, there's not much left. It's like a buffet. Everyone's always like, Gray, you need to stop doing terrible things to the earth. Okay. There you go. It's what's left of the earth. Oh, hold on. I might as well. You know what? There. I fixed it. I fixed everything. I fixed all the world's problems. Well, the question was, could you cut earth completely in half and or make a flat earth? And the answer is absolutely yes, you can. And you'll still have at least half of the population that's still alive afterward. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till the next time, stay foxy. Much love.